Hey guys, what is going on? Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Sonic's the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders mod for Minecraft 1.4.6 on your Mac. Okay, so I know here it says 1.2.5. I did not get the downloads from here. I got them. I don't remember where I got them from actually, but I got the downloads from somewhere else, and they happen to work. It said 1.4.6. I'm like, all right, it's going to work. So I don't know why he hasn't updated this. He or she, I'm not totally sure, but um, yeah, just. I have, the, I'll have this link in the description for the form if you guys want to go here, but there's nothing of important information here. So I'm going to exit out of this because I don't need to be here. And this is where you're going to want to go. There should be a link in the description. It should be the download for it. You're going to want to go here and it should say that and then hit download. And it should begin to download. It's a really small file. It should download just like that. All right. You can now exit out of whatever browser you're using when it's done downloading because it's done downloading. All right. So once it's done downloading, you're going to want to open up wherever it is downloaded. For me, it's in Finder, Downloads, and it's right here. So I'm just going to drag that to my desktop. So yours should probably be there too unless you change the destination of downloads. All right, now you're going to want to double-click that to unzip it. Now you should have a blue folder. You can get the zip folder, and you can throw it away. I hope that made sense. You don't have to throw it away, but you can, and I sure did. All right, now the blue folder, which you just unzipped, you're going to want to go into. And you should have... Two files, Optifine and GLSL shaders. Ignore shaders.zip. Leave the shaders.zip file alone, like I just said. And you're going to want to open up these two folders. So you're going to want to open up Optifine, and you're going to want to open up GLSL shaders. You can now delete those two original zip files. Now you should have two blue folders and the shaders.zip folder. You can now exit out of here. Now you're going to want to click on... No, you're just going to want to click on Go up here. If you don't see Go, click somewhere on your desktop, and then it should pop up. All right, so you're going to want to click Go To Folder, and then type that in. Squiggly backslash library. Capital L, lowercase l, doesn't matter. Type that in, then hit Go. Now you're going to want to go into Application Support. Go into Minecraft. Should be in the M's. Then go into Bin. All right, now you should see a Minecraft.jar jar file. And you're going to want to right click on that, click get info, and under name and extension, you should see minecraft.jar. At the end of that, type in .zip, and then you can exit out of here. Click use .zip if that pops up. If it doesn't pop up, there's something wrong with your computer. All right, uh, now you should have a minecraft.jar.zip. Double click that, it should unzip it. You should now have a minecraft.jar. The minecraft.jar.zip, you can trash. The minecraft.jar, you're going to want to open on up. You're going to want to find a folder in here called meta-inf, or meta-inf. You're going to want to delete it. Okay. Now you're going to want to open up the, the, the pack file that I had for you guys. And you're going to want to go into Optifine, and you're going to want to highlight all these files by hitting Command-A, and then copying them by hitting Command-C. Then go in here and hit Command-V to paste them. Make sure you do Optifine first. If you do not do Optifine first, it probably won't work. Okay, now you're going to want to go into the GLSL shaders blue folder and do the same thing. Command A, Command C, Command V. That's pretty much highlight, copy, paste. Now you can maybe... Yeah, you can now exit out of both those folders. And you can open up Minecraft. It should work. I'm going to give it a minute. Sometimes it takes a while to load. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to give it a minute here. Alright, so it worked. You're going to want to go into single player create a world or go in a world you already have. I have no worlds because I'm a loser. Um, and then it should open up. Now it's going to open up and as you can see, I don't know if you guys know anything about the mod. I literally just started learning about it today. Apparently there's wavy trees. Now for people who know what the mod looks like and if you if you went to the forum that I said you don't need to go to, you'll see that there's a lot of the sunlight's much better, the shade, there's shading, there's shadows, and it just looks a lot better. That's correct. We don't have that part of the package installed. That's what the shaders.zip is for. So you're going to want to minimize your Minecraft. I would not have it full screen or taking up most of your screen. So I'm going to really minimize mine down like that. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to hold it out for a second. Hit, go to options, guys, and then click on shaders. Once again, that's options, shaders. Click open shaders folder. This should pop up. Move it up here. Open up that pack file we downloaded off the internet that we've been using for all the mods and get the shaders.zip and copy it and then go in here and paste it. Or you can just drag and drop, but then you won't have it anymore. It'll be in there. And now you should see it in here. 
and you're gonna want to click on it right here, shaders.zip, then hit done. This is where the lag comes on in, guys. Alright, so as you can see now, this is probably what you were looking for. It's probably why you came here, because you saw this. Yeah, it's pretty nice looking. I don't know if you can tell right now, but uh, I think I'm lagging. This is, it's, it slows down everything. It slows down my internet browser and everything. So you're going to have a good computer to run this, because if you... See, it's much better if you don't have it in full screen. If you have it in full screen, though, make sure you have the CPU and the RAM for it. Because my computer is running... It's not a very great computer, but it's better than nothing. That's my computer, and it still lags a little bit. So, yeah, but that's not the point. So I got you guys here. It should be installed. If you have any questions, concerns, or if it didn't work, please leave a comment. Ooh, hold on. Is that the sun going down? That's pretty sick. Is that really what that is? See, and you can see your body shadow. Now, where in the Sam Hill is the sun? There it is. I can bet you guys, after this video, I'm going to be chasing that shadow down the entire map. Maybe I'll make a video on that. No, I'm kidding, but seriously, like, I'm going to follow that for days. Alright, guys, but as you can see, I did install the mod. I thank you guys for watching. Um, if you are subs if you're not subscribed to me, subscribe to me. I make a lot more videos now. I'm trying to be a lot more frequent with my mod installation tutorials. I'm probably going to get into some kind of mod spotlight review things. I know there's already a ton of people that do it, but I'll probably integrate the review and the installation in the same video. I'll probably do an installation after I do the review. All right, guys. I thank you guys a lot for watching. If you have any mods that you want to see installed, please leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.